Hello, I'm Raymond Mayfield, and so good to be with you today, and thank you for tuning into the broadcast. I'm going to be talking to you today from Psalms chapter 1 today. It's a book of wisdom. It presents very descriptive contrast between the way of the righteous and the way of the wicked. The psalm serves as an introduction to the entire book of Psalms. It is a poem, and yet is very constructive for understanding the rest of the book. Verse 1 says, blessed is the man, or he's happy, he's fortunate, prosperous, and even enviable, is a man who walks and lives not in the counsel of the ungodly. That means to follow their advice or their plans or their purposes or anything that they try to lead you away from the things of God. And then it goes on to say, nor stands or is submissive or inactive in the paths where sinners walk. Now, we need not go into that way to, in their directions, nor sit down and relax and rest into a scornful and a mockers where all the mockers gather and make fun of the things of God. If you want to be blessed, this is a good, good chapter to be blessed. It goes on to say in verse 2, but the blessed man, is his delight and desire is in the law of the Lord, and his law, the precept, precepts and instructions and teachings of God, he habitually meditates on, he ponders and studies on those, and he thinks on those things day and night. Verse 3 says, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth its fruit in its due season. And everything that the tree, everything that it does, shall be valuable and productive to God. Uh, that means everything that the righteous do is productive to God. He brings forth fruit in his due season, and he won't get discouraged, and his leaves will not wither, and everything that he does will prosper uh, or, or come to maturity. That doesn't mean necessarily we're going to be totally a millionaire or a billionaire. God wants to bless us. There's a lot of ways to be prosperous besides just having money and being, being happy and have health, and there's just a lot of ways. Thank God we can be prosperous in the way, but it's not the same way it is with the wicked. They are disobedient and living without God, and they're like the chaff, or they're worthless and they're dead, and the wind comes and blows it away, and they're without substance, which the wind just drives it away very quickly. It goes on to say that those who are living without God shall not stand justified in the judgment. One day all of us are going to have to stand before God and give an account of everything we have done in this life. Sinners are not going to stand in the congregation of the righteous. There is a separation between God and between those that don't live for God. That doesn't mean that we're not supposed to love the sinners. We're supposed to try to do our best to get them saved. But we don't go down the same road that they do and do the things that they do. We want to please God. Uh, and those are those in the, they're in the right standing with God that are standing in the, in the way of the righteous. The congregation of the righteous are in the right standing with God. You know, when it mentioned as blessed is a man, that word in the Hebrew means simply person. That's not just a man. That's men and women both, a men and women both together. We all are going to have to obey God. The first five books of the Bible or the Pentateuch are called the law of God. And, of course, this is written after the law. And, of course, we are not under the law anymore. But we're under a much better way, and we're to be obedient to the word of God. 2 Timothy 3 and 16 describes it. Paul, in his writing, says, All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, and for correction, for instructions in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. I appreciate so much you listen to this broadcast today. And thank you so much for tuning in. And may God give you that blessed life today. And I pray all the blessings of God upon you today that you may be blessed. I appreciate you very much and love you.